sorry I took so long to make this video. I had to go trash the Colts, you know what I'm saying? Had to trash them boys. But look, I got them out the way. Peep the score. Had to get them out the way. And uh, yeah, I had to cool down afterwards, celebrate, you know what I'm saying? And that took like, like five days or so, so. We're here now. All right, shout out to Wonder Girl, first of all. The work ethic in this video is gonna be all over the place, so don't even, just just bear with me. I'm gonna play the beat at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next in the comments. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I upload, and let's get to the video. This is the Wonder Girl part two, how to do her new stuff. So let's just get straight into it. We got a bunch of sounds we picked out. Let me explain Wonder Girl's new style. And I'm gonna put this in the beginning. Y'all gonna be like, why why is why is it look like the beat's already done? Look, it's cause it's me from the future. Look, I'm just gonna explain her new style real quick before we even get started in this video. So that way you guys can just take some things off the jump and just understand what's happening. Alright, so her new stuff. Uh, she's not doing 808 slides anymore. If she does do them, it's like super small and not noticeable. Um, she has a lot of elements coming in, but for only a short amount of time. So that's why I picked so many sounds. Her snares and stuff are usually pretty unique, uh, dark sounding snares that don't hit too hard, but like are definitely noticeable. Her 808s are always thumping. She's been using some classic 808s as well, but just good sounding 808 samples nice textures she definitely adds textures so this is an example So I messed with most of it. Uh, shout out to AK on the beat again. Up at the top left, you can see. Shout out to him, He's, he sent me some dope loops. You know what I'm saying, I had to use them. So what I did was I took it, uh, pitched it down two semitones, stretched it. This is it pitched down. Also slow the BPM down to 123. I clicked on, I double clicked on the, the sample and turned on declicking mode to crossfade. So that way, whenever I did chop it up uh, over here, it didn't sound super clicky and it didn't have clicks in between them. So this is what it sounds like when I chopped it up. So now I'm gonna slide some drums on here, you know what I'm saying? First though, what I'm gonna do is I had some cool effects. All right, cool. So this is doing pretty long. We're gonna do this and then pitch it down. We're gonna stretch it to 16. Right, and then we have a synth bass. I do with my hi-hats is I do like super slow hi-hats and then put the rolls where I feel like they should be because I feel like if you have a bunch of hi-hats going when you first start it can be distracting but I mean some people like working like that so I mean this is just how I do it her hi-hats are usually mad simple so I mean don't be afraid have some simple hi-hats. Her hi-hats just have the original, that, just that classic bounce, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I feel like it needs to be faster, no cap. All right, so we're gonna speed it up a little bit. There we go, I'm feeling that. We're gonna turn it up too. All right, we need the snare back. I can't with this. Get it out. Bop, 
you mother Mm. We're doing it. What do you mean? Her 808s are always like uh thumping, like she usually has like decently fat 808s that just sound good. So just make sure you find a good 808. We slid the little shift joint so that way it has more bounce. Bro, why do I feel like I'm doing this so poorly? All right, bro, like, let me, let me clean myself up, bro, like. Just gonna slow this joint down honestly so it sounds darker we're gonna go to pitch shifter and negative 12. Mm. Mm. Oh. now we're gonna add like a she has like dope leads that just sound crazy so we're gonna do like a weird sound of bro holy jesus what is that? What the fuck is that? We're gonna do like a weird sound and lead. Uh, but yeah, let's figure something out. This is a pretty dope loop or lead already, honestly. That was crazy. Okay, maybe. Honestly, half of it, so it's gonna be half sound selection, right? So melodies are usually like something, something that you kind of lose yourself in, if that makes sense. So like something kind of, it, I don't even want to say repetitive, but it's like, it's like in a, it puts you in a trance. It's like, you don't really pay attention to the melodies cause her, obviously her beats are drum focused. The melodies are sick. Like, don't get me wrong. No discredit to the melodies. Melodies are sick. Uh, I think it's more of like, the, the sound of her melodies more than the actual like composition of the melodies for the most part even this is a little bit too simple she would have like more snares and stuff coming in just like flooding the place for a second so i'll do some kind of similar hopefully oh what did i just do i'm gonna cry that do something crazy with the velocities have it switch and then have it go super fast or faster yeah 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 these control and we'll shorten these maybe a little bit i think i'm gonna finish this up i'm gonna mix it out the effects that i'm supposed to to really like make it sound like uh, Wonder Girl type beat like her new style uh, and hopefully you hear that it all comes together just glues together well I know I didn't really explain what I was doing 
I'm just really trying to show you like her new style because it's kind of hard to explain but like I hope you guys at least learn something from watching so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button comment what you want to see next join the discord link in the description uh catch y'all the next one